Hey everyone, this is Matt. Welcome back to my channel, Blind to Billionaire. Today is April 16th, 2018. So I've had quite a few people ask me what type of accessibility technology I use to help me maintain more of a of an independent lifestyle. So today I'm actually going to feature one of the pieces of technology that I use. Um, so this actually that you should be able to see is it's an Amazon Fire 7 tablet. So this is one of the pieces that I use. So I'm just going to give a quick tutorial of how I use it and some of the nice features that I like about it and why I chose this over uh, some of the other uh, products out there on the market. So as you should be able to see on my screen um, or on your screen, the, the tablet right in front of you. So what, what I really like about this is um, it has text to voice features. So anything that I touch on the screen, it'll actually read it to me. So I've actually I've actually lowered the or reduced the speed the reading speed um, to its just normal one x rate. But typically I listen to it at a two hundred and twenty five percent of its normal rate just because I can read it I can understand it and it's faster. Um, as you'll soon find out, the reading speed at the normal rate is very slow. So anyway, I'll just kind of show you. So there's a bunch of icons. Um, as far as what's on my screen, uh, I don't see anything. I don't know what's on my screen. I just know what's there because of using the tablet and I can actually, um, I've, just, I've, um, I've, just, I've been using it long enough that I know what's on the screen. But as far as me trying to see what's on the screen, I don't see anything. So anyway, I'll just show you kind of um, how this works. So, Offers, row one, column two. So anything that I touch, it will read it to me. So apparently that's offers, row one, column two. It tells me the location. So I know down on the bottom row, uh, there is Google, YouTube, and Silk Browser, which are actually the three icons that I use the most. I use those. Oh, actually, those are probably the only three icons that I use. So settings, row youtube.com, row three, column, so, Google search. So I can go to Google. I double tap on it. It loads it. So as you notice, the reading speed is very slow, but I'll show you later. You can actually adjust that um, very fast, so that's really nice. Google graphic. So apparently there's a Google search graphic, combo box. and then you can search. There's a search box, so I can double tap on the screen, and it actually brings up a keyboard. So again, I mean, I know the general layout of a keyboard for like a computer, so I have an idea of where the, all the letters are, but again, I don't see the keyboard. But what I can do is I can just put my finger on the keyboard, it'll tell me what letter it is. And then knowing just the layout of a keyboard, I can move to where the next letter would be that I want. So when I'm spelling out a word. So, B, so there's B, Bravo, G, you know, F D, S, A, W, E, R, G, H. So if I wanted hotel. to. If I wanted to search something, I would just type it out. Combo box. I would just type it out and then um, be able to search it. So it's really nice to be able to search anything that I would want, just like I would on a computer. And then when I actually search something, it'll bring it up just like a normal Google browser on a computer. And then I can just um, kind of go through the list with my finger and it'll actually read everything to me. So then to get out of this, I just make like a seven pattern, go up and then left. Search row three column silk browser row three. So like column silk three. silk browser is um, kind of like Amazon's or maybe like the the um, the search Add engine. Edit https colon slash slash www.royalcaribbean.com search link web view open navigation drawer button. Royal Caribbean Cruises Vertical Bar Start Your Dream Cruise Vacation Here Web View Royal Caribbean Cruise So as you can see it's just reading Saline Zen um, So obviously I have the website Royal Caribbean up on here so it loaded the page and then it just started reading So to stop it from reading I just single tap on the screen and it makes it stop Otherwise gradient background with Otherwise I can just move my finger around to navigate the page and it'll read to me anything on the page. Destination read purple gradient back saline zen. Instant savings. Cruising leaving from any work departing any date calendar link. 
So then again, if I want to go back to the home screen, I just swipe up and left. Brings me back to the home screen. Three rows. Email. Row two. So what's nice about this? Row three. What's nice about this device is I actually do have my email on here too. Um, so what I can do is I can pull my email up and then it will, uh, I can just point on any email that is in my inbox and it'll just read it to me. So whatever the content is, it will read it, which is really nice. So it makes it very fast. Although when I reply to emails on here, it's very slow. Um, just simply because typing on a keyboard when it's on a flat screen that I can't actually feel like a tactile uh, keyboard like I would on a computer. Um, you know, it's just really slow to reply, but it works. It It's really nice, actually. So I'll show you how to uh, to speed up the, the reading speed. Offers, row one, so settings, row two, uh, settings two. double tap. Settings, accessibility. So accessibility is already selected. I'll double click it again. Accessibility. Voice view screen reader. Manage voice guidance settings, including turning voice view on and off. Okay, so that's the one I want. Voice view screen reader. Voice view switch checked to disable. Let's see. Select this. I want Voice the reading speed. Reader. Voice view switch checked to reading speed. Okay, One so reading X. speed. Double click. Reading speed. And there's multiple different. X. Slowest. One of ten. Check box. Not checked. There's multiple different options here as far as speed. I usually like the. Dot sixty six X. Dot eight X. One X. Normal. 1.1.5, 1.2x, 7 of 2.5, 2x, 7 of 10. I actually Check think box. I do 2x. So. Voice view screen reader, reading speed, 2x, 2 of 10. So, uh, at first it's a little bit hard to understand because she does read pretty fast, but after you use it for a little while, it's, it's actually really easy. I'm actually considering increasing my speed by another 50% just because I can, and it's nice to be able to read things in... A fraction of the time. So to get out of this. Three rows, five columns, settings, row two, column two. So what else is really nice is within this device, uh, Amazon's Alexa is actually built into the device. So I actually just heard it act. I'm not sure. I actually just heard it activate. Um, actually, in the background, I have a different. I have an Echo Dot also. So that doesn't really help. But here, I'll show you an example. So I'll ask it a question, Alexa. What is the date and time? It's Monday, April 16th, 2018 at 9.32 p.m. Actually, you know what? I apologize. That's the echo in the background. Hang on just a second. I'm actually going to go unplug it so that I can show you how the tablet works. Hold on just a second. Sorry about that. So here, now the tablet, uh, like I said, Alexa is built into it. So, Alexa, what is the date and time? It's Monday, April 16th, 2018 at 9.32 p.m. So again, that's pretty cool to have, you know, her built right in here. I ask her multiple questions every day, all the time. It's really nice to have that uh, built into the unit. So. Not only do I have a device that reads to me everything that I want, um, if there's ever a time that I just want to search something or I have a, just a simple question that I don't want to search, I can actually just ask her and she relays it to me, which is really nice. So as for this device, it's actually not like a 3 or 4G capable device, but instead it's just Wi-Fi, but you know, you don't really even need those devices or 3 or 4G capability anymore because just about everywhere you go is... Uh, Wi-Fi, you have Wi-Fi accessibility, so it's pretty nice. So another thing about this device that I really liked over, you know, some of the other devices out there like iPads or some of the Samsung devices is this device is incredibly cheap. It's actually less than $40. I think I paid uh, maybe a little over $37, maybe right around $37, $38 for it. And so, I mean, it's practically free. The thing is, uh, it has like the functionality of an iPad or any other tablet that you may find, but it's dirt cheap. Like I said, under 40 bucks. So you can also order products right off of Amazon on this device, just like you would on an Amazon Echo Dot, where you can just 
you know, ask, ask Alexa to order basically any product that you would want. So again, very nice to, to use it for that. So this is just one piece of technology that I use to help me maintain a little bit more of an independent lifestyle. So this is the Amazon Fire 7 tablet. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button down below, leave your comments or questions, and thanks for watching.